Hey everybody, I'm back here for another one. Um, so, what I was having was this stove right behind me. It's a Whirlpool stove. Um, the problem was is one of the, the lights was staying on, one of the notification lights. So the one that was actually staying on was the um, cook top on button, or light, I guess. So with all of the switches turned off, the, the light was still staying on. So I found out that the one of the switches was bad and keeping it on, but uh, I'll let you know kind of how I, I figured that one out. So we'll go take a look inside here. Okay, so this is the stove here. Um, there's a lot of these out there, so I doubt if some of you guys have this guy. Um, so that was actually the, the light that was staying on. So when you turn on any of these switches, that light will come on. It doesn't matter which one you turn on, it just tells you that one of the switches is, um, is turned on. Okay, so just because I guess I'm me, um, I wanted to take apart this switch just to see what, uh, what goes on inside of it, what made it fail. So taking the, the front case off, so that's the, the part that you actually turn. So get that out of the way. So it has little little ridges and stuff on it that uh, is gonna change how it pushes on these strips inside of here, these metal strips. So what I noticed first off is there's a lot of, uh, well, burning up in there. So this thing got really hot maybe it arced out um yeah something definitely went on there but that connection um welded itself basically together so if we look on the other side this contact here it's the it's the uh p contact so it is what sends power to that cooktop on. Um, and if you look down here, that goes right inside to there. So this contact was welded. It's tough to <laughs> show you guys this. Okay. So yeah, this contact was welded down. So it was stuck. It was. It would say that the cooktop was on all the time even though it was not um, but there's also on this side um, this guy is is welded together right there so let's see what that guy does so it was it was stuck down between so H2 and what would end up being H1. So that's what's going to provide power to the actual heater. H1 to H2 is, is the connection. So yeah, and the he said the heater would stay on sometimes by itself, even if you turned it off. So that's. Uh, what was happening there. So yeah, that's just a inside look, I guess, of, of uh, how these guys work. It's just bimetallic strips that heat up and they flex when they heat up. Um, and then this guy will turn and push down you know, certain, certain pieces, depending on which area it's in. Um, Yeah, everything's done seas now, but this guy is toast. Once once it starts arcing like that inside, it's just gonna keep doing that. It's, there's no point in, in unsticking it and then putting it back into your stove because it might last for, I don't know, two times turning it on, it might last for two weeks. It, it's hard to say, but it will re-weld itself. So yeah, that's a quick look into that guy. 
that is how stove switches work. All right, so just wanted to show you. So the switch is in the off position right now. Um, and if we put our meter leads, so I've put it on um, resistance, the lowest setting I got. Put it on here, you should get nothing. And this is between the line coming into the switch and the line going out for that uh, that um, light to come on that says that the cooktop is on. So if we turn this guy on, it doesn't matter where we turn it on, as long as it is on, that's what we should be seeing um, somewhere around zero. Uh, it, it just is telling us that that is closed when the switch is on. So, yeah, I just want to show that to you guys. If you're having that, that light stay on, um, and you can't, you're not sure which switch is actually doing it because only one of the switches has to do it. They're all connected through this P pin. Um, this will this will go. So this one will connect to the next switch down. There's usually four switches. So um, yeah, you can actually take the leads off of here between um, that L1 and the P. You can test resistance there. If you're getting resistance when the um, switch should be turned off, well, you know that's that's the one that's actually doing it. So yeah, just a quick little little check, I guess, for these guys. All right, um, thanks for watching, guys. I just wanted to, yeah, it's just a quick video, but anyway. Um, so if you guys like these videos, um, hit that subscribe button. Let's uh, let's hit that like button. It's a big one. So let's uh, let's try to do that and. Yeah, just let me know in the comments uh, what you guys want me to look at next, um, what kind of problems you're having with, with your appliances, and I'll see if I can make a video of it. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day.